So this is uh, project management and it's looking at project objectives. Uh, basically, all projects have got three objectives, to deliver on time, to budget, and meeting the functionality requirements. Now, this is often referred to as time, cost, and quality. Um, the iron triangle of project management, meeting time, cost, and quality. But sometimes quality, some people interpret the word quality as something different, like the, the surface finish um, of, of a particular object. So quality, what we really mean here is the specification, the requirements, the functionality of the project. So all projects have got three objectives, delivery on time, to budget, and meeting the functional requirements. Now, this is often called the iron triangle of project management, and somewhere within this triangle uh, is your project. You've got to identify which of these is the most important objective. Delivery on time, delivery to budget, or delivery to quality, which is the most important? And this is a good discussion to have with your project champion when they say, will you run this project? This is what it's about. You'll say, well, you know, what are my time, functionality, cost objectives, and which is the most important? And what we're trying to identify is which one's critical. Now, it could be our project is about meeting some new legislation that comes into effect on the 1st of January, in which case it's a time-critical project. We have to do it by the 1st of January. Or it could be our project is developing stadiums for the uh, World Cup uh, in, in Qatar in 2022. And so therefore there is a particular date for that. It is a time constrained project. It might be that the project is about meeting some quality requirements. Uh, the sooner you do it, the better. Um, you know, if it takes you an extra month, it's not really important as long as we meet the quality requirements. Uh, it could be that you've been assigned a £10,000 budget for the project and there is not a penny more. And now you're working towards that critical objective of cost and not spending a penny more. And you're probably now having to sacrifice the quality in order to deliver something for £10,000. And all of these things are interdependent. If you've got a time problem on your project, it's going to cost you money to save time, to employ more resources, um, to, to buy finished goods rather than make them yourself to save time. It's going to cost you money. If you've got a time problem on your project, you might choose to reduce the functionality or the quality requirements in order to meet the time objective. If you're running over budget, if you've got a cost problem on your project, one of the main solutions to that is reduce the requirements, reduce the functionality, deliver less than you said you were going to deliver. Take longer to deliver it. So in order to meet the cost, you could delay the project, reduce the overtime working. So these things are interdependent on each other. So what we need to do is ask the senior manager which one is most important for my project and then you might also decide to sacrifice one of these in order that you can meet two. Now that's something that project managers often do even though their senior managers say you're going to have to meet all three. You might say, well, OK, we could slip a week or two, and as long as I'm to budget and delivering the requirements, everybody will be happy. So uh, the deliverables for the project, uh, the outcomes for the project, what it's going to do, and that might be during the development phases of the project and also the operational phases of the project. So our project might be to install a new manufacturing machine, and that's what we're going to do, the development of the project. But actually, it's going to operate in our company for some time. We're going to have to maintain that as well. We need to demonstrate the benefits, quantifiable benefits to the organisation to help us support these project deliverables. This goes to uh, back up our business case. This will make the company better. Now, project objectives need to be smart. SMART is a, an acronym. SMART in the UK means the word clever. SMART is an acronym. Specific. Objectives need to be specific to something. 
They need to be measurable. A good objective has a number associated to it so we can measure our progress. Uh, achievable. A good objective is achievable. There's no point in setting somebody an objective that's unachievable. And it should be relevant to the person who's achieving it. And a, a good objective is timed. So an objective is to do this within three months. So SMART objectives. Now, if you go and Google SMART, just be careful because sometimes you see specific, measurable, achievable, relevant timed. And sometimes you see specific, measurable, agreed, realistic, and timed. Don't mix the two up because really agreed means I'm agreeing to do it because it's relevant to me. And realistic means it's achievable. So just be careful on the versions you find on the internet and just learn one of them and don't mix up those, uh, those A's and those R's. So here we are. We're getting an example here in our project initiation phase. We're trying to get the project vision clear. Instead of saying we're installing a new manufacturing machine, we're saying why we're doing it and what we're doing. In order to deliver the company's strategy to remove all manual, non-numeric control machines by, this project seeks to improve the quality by replacing existing machines with a new CNC lathe. So when you go home or when you meet a new person, they say, what are you doing at work? You don't just say, oh, I'm installing a new machine. You say, I'm doing it because it's going to help the company achieve its strategic goals, and this is what we're going to do. We now need to break that down into objectives. Objectives for the project within six months, so SMART objectives, that's our T timed, within six months, we will have installed, commissioned, and tested a new CNC lathe. So it's specific. Uh, you could argue it's not measurable. You could argue, yeah, that should be achievable. It's relevant to, to, to me, so I'm happy. And a second objective, we will have fully trained six operators and three maintenance staff. So that is clearly measurable. Within six months, we have trained six operators and three maintenance staff. Now, when we've done that, this machine has gained no business benefit to the company at all. It's cost us a lot of money. It's cost us a lot of time. And we've now got a new machine and we've got no benefit. So we might argue we need some objectives for the operational phase. That after 12 months, so that's our new time, our T and our SMART, after 12 months we will have in, increased our capacity by 20%, measurable. Or we've improved our quality. Or we've reduced our defect rate by a particular percentage. So these are measurable. So a good objective for the project, for the operation of the project, good objectives are smart. Okay, so we've looked at uh, the iron triangle of project management, um, time, cost, and quality. And we've looked at smart. Now, inherently, smart only tends to cover the time and the specific quality of what you're doing. It doesn't mention cost. So we've got to be careful that uh, we have an objective about cost. So we may have many objectives for our project, but make sure one of them includes cost. If you just use the SMART acronym to try and develop project objectives, you might not get any that have got cost. Overriding this, of course, is the iron triangle of project management. Every project has got to deliver on time, on cost, and to quality requirements. Okay, so... Um, Time. Time management is about your project management plans, your, your Gantt charts. Your cost management is about your budgets and your cost reporting. So just going to spend a little bit of time thinking about quality management, just making sure you're going to deliver what is required for this project. And quality management is going to involve quality planning, quality assurance, quality control. Now, this is a project management module. It's not a quality module. But um, we have to deliver the required quality for the project. So we're going to have to plan it. We're going to have to evaluate and audit it. We're going to have to review to make sure we're managing quality on our project. So our quality plans will be built up by the uh, applicable standards and the criteria that we're required to meet. 
And as we're going through the project, we need to ensure that we deliver quality deliverables. So we're going to check, we're going to audit, we're going to inspect, we're going to have assurance that what we're doing is correct. OK, let's use an example uh, of aims and objectives that is applicable to students. So here's the vision, the vision of the student uh, to be the chief designer at Aston Martin. We could say, well, that's a good vision to have, to dream. Um, let's, let's have a mission. Let's make it a little bit more specific to hold a top technical job in the car industry by the age of 35. This is our mission. It's making it absolutely clear what this student wants to achieve. So we might now break that down into objectives. Now, I, I deliberately haven't made these smart objectives, but it's going to be about getting an appropriate job to achieve a job in the automotive industry. Or another student might say, no, my next step, my next objective is to get an automotive a master's uh, qualification in automotive engineering. And some students may have a much more local objective of to pass this year's study. Now, those objectives, OK, not smart. You could make those smart objectives. You might want to come down to the next level and say, well, if my objective is to pass this year's study, the objective is to win the game. We win the game by scoring goals. And the goals for you would be to pass the module, to submit good passwork, uh, good coursework, uh, to pass the exam. And we could relate that to the time, cost, quality. We could say, well, we want to pay the fees, make sure we're not blocked. We want to pass the exam first time, which sets the date, you know, in the summer of 2015. And we want to achieve a mark of more than 70%. Okay, so clear objectives, absolutely vital. One of the main reasons that projects uh, fail. One of the first things we need to do is get that senior management support. Link your project to the company strategy, the company mission. Use your project champion to help define what the project is. Find out what's most important, time, cost, quality. Break your project down into objectives, objectives for the deliverable, objectives for the running of the project. Make sure those objectives are smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, timed. But unless you communicate these objectives, you've just wasted your time. Just setting these objectives is not good enough. We've got to communicate them with the other stakeholders, the other people involved in the project. And that's the subject for the next video.